Hi everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. I realize this isn't on the weekend, but my schedule's just gotten a little crazy lately <laughs> with my extra job. I also hurt my back last week, so I had to lay on the ground for two days, and uh, that worked itself out, <laughs> but that was not fun, and I couldn't film for last weekend. So I'm here today, and I'm gonna show you what I should have had last weekend up and ready to go. But with editing and everything, I know this is gonna be like a half week late. So please forgive me and thank you for your understanding. 33, man, <laughs> it's been a year. It's been a year of exploration, um, especially with medical problems <laughs> for both myself and my husband. We've just been having all sorts of things going on this year. So let's get into what we're really here for, and that's the advent calendar. Advent calendar, woo! <laughs> I missed that intro last week, so thank you for those who called me out on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so last week, I was making up for a lost time again, I ended up opening two boxes. Um, I'm going to tell you what I think about these four products. First of all, two weeks is a very short time to test four products, especially when you're trying to use lip products and you're trying to use up other lip products. That was just a lot to do. But um, I think I got a good handle on it. There are definitely some things I use more than others. <laughs> And let's go through it. So the two lip products I tested, one is this e.l.f. lip gloss, and this is in the shade Berry Kiss. I actually like this. I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this. This has really good slip to it. Um, I thought the color was really nice. It is, it's just a really like a purple berry shade. It's really light, it's thin, but it adds a nice layer onto the lip. Um, I, I enjoy this, I'm gonna keep this. It doesn't, it doesn't like smell bad or taste bad or anything like that, it just is good. And I'm glad that it's not like super sticky. It is a thicker gloss, like in general, but it's not overly so. So this is a definite keep. On my lips today, I have this KVD Vegan Beauty product. Um, and this is in the shade Mother. It's their lipstick. It's just a mini. I think that looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if I love it with this eye look. I end up going like slightly warmer for my eye look. And like, this is more of a cool tone. This is like a very cool tone pink. But in general, I think this color is nice. I think it actually looks really good on my skin tone. I'm actually gonna see if I can use this one up. I'm gonna like roll this into a project pan to see if I can use it up, because I think that that's, I don't know. There's just something about it that like is drawing my attention. And I know why I purchased this. <laughs> I remember this came in a kit with the liquid lipstick in Mother. Um, and I think I already used that one up or like close to it. And I enjoy the shade. The two non-lip products, um, one, okay, yes, this is an under eye setting powder. I am using this today to set this concealer. Um, I, I, mm, mm. <laughs> I don't know if I'd actually use this. This is something that I don't think is a bad product. I just don't know if I need it product. Um, I, I, I don't tend to use concealer a whole lot. Like one concealer will last me, I seriously, like four years. So I don't think it's bad. I just don't think it's amazing. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to give it away. I just don't have a use for this in my collection. So two keeps, one to clutter. Yay. Um, the last product I absolutely adore. This is definitely the winner <laughs> that I use the most. This is the Mally Shadow Stick Extra, and this is in the shade Moonlight. It really, this is a beautiful highlight. Um, it's a cream formula. I used it mostly on my eyes, but you could actually, I did try it as like a little highlight there too, and end up working out pretty well. Like it, it, you can blend it out with your finger, you can blend it out with a sponge. It just had like a little something there without going too crazy. Which I think is kind of nice where if you can have like a dual use product. I don't always recommend a dual use product because I do think that they have a purpose. <laughs> But um, I don't know, I, I ended up using it like that one day. I was like, oh, I don't have a highlight, let me just throw this on. And it worked out great. There's no glitter to it. There's just a little shine. It's nice and reflective. It's a go for me. This is definitely, I like out of all four products, this is the one I reach for the most. And it probably was the easiest to like incorporate into my collection as well, like what I'm using right now, but I adored it. I don't see anything wrong with this product. So that leaves me keeping three products and decluttering one. And let's see what I get to try for the next two weeks, or in this case, week and a half. <laughs> All right, week 17 we are on. 
Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, what do we got here? Okay, it's a small box, so I'm a little concerned, but we got this. Okay, this is the, oh god, I picked this up when I was in France. Yves Rocher, Yves Rocher, Frambois. <laughs> Um, I'll show it to you, but this is their raspberry lip balm. E Rocher. Um, I think, I think, because I haven't obviously bought this, and it's all in French. I think it's just a clear lip balm, if I remember correctly, <laughs> in the raspberry shade, which is good. I'm actually, I'm looking for something to add to my handbag again. This might be the one. I was going to put in something for my lip product use up, but maybe this would be better for me. Oh, it's tinted. Come off. It is tinted. Ooh, ah, let's smell it. Oh, it smells like sun ripened raspberry. You know the Bath and Body Works scent that's like so old school? Yep, that smells amazing. It has sweated a little bit, so I'm hoping it still has some moisture in there. Um, since I bought this in France, we're looking at like two years old. I'm sure the expiration date is December 2020. Awesome. Or maybe this manufacturer date. I did go to France in early 2020. I don't know. <laughs> I was actually, one of the last trips I took in Europe was to Champagne, France, like the Reims region. And I went biking around those hills. Super challenging hills, by the way. <laughs> You're like going up these like shale lines. Oh, that was a hike and a half, but maybe I picked it up there? Did I pick it up there or did I pick it up when I was... I don't know when I picked it up, but hopefully it's still good. I'll give it a try and I'll let you know what I think. The other product is a little mini Bare Mineral Bronzer in the shade Warmth. It is a cool toned bronzer. It is very light. You know what's kind of interesting about that? It actually looks almost like a little golden, but not like orange golden, like true yellow golden. I'll have to try that out and see what I think. I will say here it looks really good. I'm a little nervous to put it on. It's so different from the Too Faced ones I've been using, um, which it says warm, so I expect it to have a little red in it, but it actually doesn't. It's like a very golden toned bronzer. But we'll try this out and I'll let you know what I think. And that is where we're at for our advent calendar this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back in two weeks to let you know what I think. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Happy panning. Bye.